give thanks and praise. Greetings across the earth, straight across the earth, straight across the earth. Lost Jacksonville, Sugar Hill. I came across this thing over there on the Twitter X. And as I said, the Jacksonville location, it's still a place within me where, yeah, move me to affinity, you know? Because Jacksonville, Duval County is a location where I man have a deep affinity, affection, a deep love for that location and that environment. Yeah, man. And the people of such. God, that's a location where I actually become a man. But sometimes you know get the full history. Because more time when you're in the location, you get caught up in all of the activities of such. But when you're far removed from the location where you can probably observe it from a independent observer's perspective, then you probably can get the true story about the location. But out of all the places where I'm on journey through America, this location is a location where I like because of the, of the spread out the landmass. You can be in a section of this county and it's like you're still totally isolated from everywhere else. It's a beautiful location, man. Jacksonville, man. Sugar Hill. But again, when you hear the name Jacksonville, you know so it comes from the colonial guy, Andrew Jackson. And when you check them guys' their history, you can see the legacy of slavery. But as we go forward, we bring, you know, these kind of stories. However, let's look at this information together. Salute to the free people across the earth. Salute to the American Indians, these ancient ones. Salute to the Aboriginal Indians, the Aborigines, one and the same. These ancient ones. Yeah, come on. We are talking about the super continent now called America. We now have a giveaway our continent and just a claim a little area or a little island. Yeah man, this super continent originally was bestowed unto us as a people before all these foreign invasions and incursions and inquisitions yeah man and their christian crusades before all of these things we as a people were here anyway again give thanks give thanks we said the brave may fall but never yield you know what i mean yeah Salute Kingston College. Yeah, my brother, Alma Mater. But we as a Awak Indian nation, we say, you know, bold and brave, firm and strong. Yeah, man. So the brave may fall, but never yield. And we say, bold and brave, firm and strong. That's why we say nation, we not just say tribe. Because when I'm on say tribe, I know it really mean 
were house whole. It's like the house of Jackson, where all of the people them were affiliated with that house, whether by marriage, whether by adoption, whether by very close friendship, where evolve into family ties. That's your tribe. Yeah, man. That's your tribe. When you establish your house, you are secure your tribe. And when you talk about your nation now, that is, that is the society where you choose to pledge your allegiance to, where you choose to associate with, where you choose to identify with, not the foreign political organization or community, not necessarily the government of Jamaica, not necessarily a British subject, not necessarily a Commonwealth subject, but a free man, a free woman. Yeah, man. Not just free people, because people is just the pluralization of persons, which are personas. Character. Where, where Babylon people caricature. When the mafia is a legal entity. So that's freedom. But when we don't know the foundation, when we don't have enough information, and when we void of truth, then naturally it will create confusion. Naturally. Disruption, distraction, naturally. This is why we say, make we exercise patience. Make we exercise patience, especially with our people. Especially with us as a people. Yeah, man, because we have a go through it, you know. And the strongest warriors, them usually get the hardest fight. We have a go through it, you know. Both spiritually, physically, mentally, socially, emotionally, you have a go through it. Yeah, man. And I yeah, have to find a balance there. Yeah, not like here all low. You may have to descend. Because sometimes we have to literally crawl on our belly. We have to scrape. We have to grab here and a grab there, literally. Just for the semblance of existence. Yeah. You go have other people incur all kind of debt. And these things are natural because of how society set. And people are going to find themselves in a depressive state. Naturally, because of the state of condition. Yet, through it all, that is the test. This is when you're going to say true love and you're going to say true hate. Believe me, I would like to talk from our perspective, our point of view, from our experience. Now, I put on a show, I'm not finna likes, information, share. And our philosophy from our grassroots perspective. But yeah, man, you will go through it, man, and that's when you know the test come. And more time I your own family member you have to turn to and say, Yo, Eid. 
Yeah, if you have mother and father, you have to go in on your father account or go in on your mother account and say, Mother, I have to withdraw this from your account, you know, and I'm going to reimburse you later because right now I got you it. More time you have to draw upon all your brother and say, Brother, I have to borrow the money from your account, you know, because this is what I got you. And these things are reality. But again, I always say, when you know within yourself, so watch out. Through themselves, a cloud of its silver lining. You know, so, you know, man, we always rise. Once we always rise, irrespective of your situation. And if you live long enough, you will always can compensate ones and ones where aid you in your time and need. Aid you when you're on your belly, a crawl. And then you will always remember the ones where show you this din, which shows for talk about you behind your back, opposed to aid you. God, the perception is always it's so much worse than what it is that's always the perception when people are miss the lessons that is being expressed and being taught and that is there for us to learn we have to miss it this is why i'm gonna give thanks for all experience because it's just that experience from where I youth till now. Yeah, man, I have to say bloodline. When you have a good woman, cherish that woman. When you have a good friend, cherish that friend. When you have good family members, whether it's your mother, uh, usually in a key of what go on, you know, mother got dead of fear, you know, that me know, you know. All when your mother not like you, because you probably not do the things them were proper in a life and were right and up full. Your mother now go know, say, boy, she have a pot of food and she not set a plate for you or no, say, send a plate, they go give him wherever I'm there, you know, because I still my son. So that a mother's love. There's no substitute for that. And the Father's love is the very same way. The exact same way. That's what parenting is. When it comes on to brother and sister, it's kind of different, especially when a different father upon them side and all these things. But when you have sibling where really care, you're going to know it. Because you're going to see them manifest themselves in a year time of need. They're going to present themselves. You're not going to have to call on them. They're going to manifest themselves. And the ones them where is no good, you will not see or hear from them. You'll probably get all kind of information from them. Because they're going to always talk about you. And these things are just reality. Yeah, it's just that most people we keep a lot of things private. Someone like me, you know, I'm glad oh my first lady and I watch my thing through me talk so much. And I have time for sit down and just listen, listen, listen. You know what I mean? Whereas me have so much tape, tape, tape. So a lot of things you know I can really hear for say, boy, you talk so much. You know what I mean? Or you just express yourself so openly. I me mean, that sometime man it I'm in a sense where you know hide behind a persona or in a caricature. Yeah man. We do have to express ourselves, you know, freely and willingly and honestly and move forward. Uh, each one to each one and if we have to choose for grow, we have to choose for mature. But 
physically, spiritually, <clears throat> and emotionally. And they are free will exercise. So, you know, true what they have to learn with a humble yourself and see how we can learn. But Jacksonville, yeah, man, Florida, Duval County, I love that area, there, man. I love the location there. Yeah, man, when you talk about the Okeechobee River, yo, you talk about St. Augustine that are down the road. You know, them little places are some place where us as a people have bloodline lineage, man. Yeah, man, I know them location, then I get my first, you know, say, Indian motif. Yeah, man, when I have all them cassid shows where you want to see what them things are comfortable. I may have my beaver at where when I put on them things upon your head, you sweat. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Like them places. And when I like with Jacksonville, it gets so cold where you're going to need jacket more time. It's a snow in a Jacksonville, Florida. Literally, it's a snow. Them places are. That's why Babylon bomb rush and take over them places. And right now, you know, the city, and I want easy city, because it, 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 them going like Chicago in a certain location in that city. Yeah, man, them rough in that city, and the youth them can be wild to in that city. But I always love them warriors around this. I remember when I come home from the mainland and Depp on the island, yeah. Once and once from Jacksonville, Florida, send strength come give me around yeah. Literally. That's why I always salute the Yankee them where know them culture, where know them roots and where acknowledge and recognize truth. We're not against the American black people, so-called. We're not against the our people. Cause we used to move amongst each other and even when we have differences and we have wars and everybody always a war the wars was against the moorish people where you also try to encroach in our location and show them look like we them give a lot of trouble in our area till now I'm on like Taki where the Moors them sell out, Nani where the Moors them sell everybody where our cultural leader them are called Maroon now. And may associate the Maroons with the Moors. Now you can ask L.A. Lewis for verify that car. L.A. Lewis for sure, yes, sir. He named something under that L. So you know when you see the name L, it come out of the Ishmael lineage. Davis Street today. I miss out too much thing with this thing. I read itself, man. It's a, from the late 1800s until the 1900s. Sugar Hill was a neighborhood where Jacksonville's most prominent African American lived. You know, there's no such thing as African American. So the very American Indians us as a people this is how you know we used to live on them hide them kind of information yeah from the populace as my son like the location yeah east 8th street over springfield looking towards sugar hill know them location yeah a prestigious upscale community sugar hill was home to professional American Indian families, doctors, lawyers, teachers, bricklayers, ministers, morticians, and pull, pullman porters who develop a commune of comfortable, impressive, spacious homes. Sugar Hill includes the area surrounding and to the south of University and Methodist Medical Center. Remember them location there, you know. It primarily consists of the land 
sandwich between Interstate 95 and the western edge of historic Springfield, where Darnell Cookman Middle School and the new Jacksonville Regional Service Center are located on Davis Street. Broad Street can be seen at the bottom of the image. The aerial was taken over Sugar Hill before a portion of the neighborhood was demolished for Blodgett Homes housing project. So you see what I'm dealing with our location. And now when you go to Jacksonville, Jacksonville Jaguars, they're there when you see they are beer foreign people. You know, you that's where you say, boy, there is nobody looking like us as a people in a location. God, them regulate the people in a certain little small, small section and areas now. Well, a long time, I'm not going to the location, so I'm not sure what I'm going over this or now. Former Sugar Hill resident, including Abraham Lincoln Lewis, owner and founder of the Afro-American Life Insurance Company, Williams Reigns, a high school principal, and Sarah Blacker, a school teacher who took the Duval County school system to court for equal working rights for African American teachers. So that are the American Indians, what I'm called colored people or black people. There are no Africans. Davis Street in the, in the 1940s. So this is Davis Street in the 1940s. Look on the place so it's clean. Look how the place is spacious. Them thing in our town, you know. Caucasian, I get to take over the place yet, you know. So we have to maintain ourselves and carry and conduct ourselves. And we tell us there are professional people that are. Like many urban Jacksonville districts, Sugar Hill began as a streetcar suburb. The neighborhood's major thoroughfare was David Street, which directly connects residents to La Villa. In downtown Jacksonville, you see how the place is spacious. I think them said Jacksonville are one of the third largest landmass, you know, say, city then in the US. The place huge in you know, the people, like our place, you know. What I tell you, Babylon, not, not joke, you know. When Babylon come and rearrange, you know, man, them change everything, you know, man. Even the people and minds and perspective. Uh, most of these people would dead and think them come from Africa. And there is no such thing. These are this very same Geechee Gula people. Uh, I was at the location. When you go right across the line in a, in a Georgia, right? This American Georgia, the same kind of people I'm going to interact with. All the way to... Cincinnati, Ohio. When you're going to Cincinnati, Ohio, you're going to be surprised at the very same kind of people that you are, you are, you are intermingled with. People like I. And if you it, and watch me now, car we can talk from experience. If you're going to Philadelphia, the very same people. If you're going to Macon County in a, in a, in a Philly, the very same people. And if you go all the way up north in a, in a Buffalo, New York, in either Lockport, New York, right, that's about two, ten minutes from, from, from Niagara Falls, you're going to find the very same people, high people. A way, and you hear how I talk it, the very same way how I man can dip on the location and traverse the old place. It's the very same way I people traverse the old place. And when I'm on going to California, it's the very same people I see. Very same people of California. Very same people of San Bernardino. Yeah, man. <laughs> no lie. And we are talking from experience. And I'm just one man. You have a much greater ones than I and I we can give you even, you know, the very same thing. I said, boy, yeah, man, are we same, are we as a people, Rasta. Yeah, man, we like a location, yeah, man. Here an overview of Sugar Hill from the 1940s. So you see how we predominant and powerful in these location people. When them talk about the southern slavery, see it, yeah? 
Because Jacksonville, right after you come out of Georgia, Savannah, Georgia, you go right, let's say in a Jacksonville. And when you go in a Savannah, Georgia, our people, and watch me now, when I go in a Carolina, are the very same people me go see and intermingle with. Right in the Carolinas. Very same people. Yeah, man, I'm go through the people and talk a different dialect. Uh, when they're down south here, them say, I'm fin to go. Them, them, talks, them talk different, just like on the island. Yeah, so when you're going to Portland, them talk a little different. When you're going to Cl what, 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 Clarendon, they say, them talk a little different. But are the very same people. And at this, most people, true people, not travel, they don't know that. And they have the experience, the first hand experience for them, you know, walk the ground. Then they have it. Then we just stay in them little office space in a YouTube and look out and talk a lot of things out there. But we have to salute the ones them. We we'll put them boot on the ground and can show with things. And then we we'll salute the ones that will literally experience things. Salute to the one that we we'll have the experience. Cause we do learn from, you know. All right. Yeah, man, we we'll learn from it all. <coughs> So it's a sugar hill would eventually become the victim of large development projects. These include the construction of I-95 through the neighborhood's heart, it's all them destroy the community. The continued expansion of the Shan Medical Center, I know that our big old medical facilities and herbal renewal. Yo. This is over upon over at the west side where when you take 10 and go the next way. Big hospital, you can drive upon the highway and look upon the facility. I remember a lot of these construction back in the days. And I'm not going to lie, it's a beautiful city in the high people. I underestimate Jacksonville. You know? That's a place where I know literally dreams do come true. Yeah. Literally, Jacksonville, Florida. I'm always like the waterfront, I always like the chucking five name. I'm going to the place now, I'm probably try to facilitate to chuck it or just move, you know. Container from the wharf and to the docks, and so you go home every day, you know. You work from nine to five, and if you have some night work or something like that, but you just step on a steady little basic shift, you know. If you are, Cross county and I kill yourself. But yeah, man, them, them area there. And if he's a man who love the outdoors and love plant and grass and landscape, you can just create your own little landscaping company called that are your passion. You love that. You get me? So you just do your own little thing in your own little world, in your own little section. And we're not going to say, you know, Bad things not happen everywhere, but it, you know, at least you have a kind of peace and a kind of space where you can choose for go left or choose for go right. You know what I mean? You know, I forgot going on that side of the town. You know, I feel intermingle with that, you know, class of people. You have the options. And then again, you have space. You can then a location where Everybody in that little location know you, that is your community, and you keep it right there. When you leave your community, your windows roll up, and you, you know, you hold your head straight. And you know, and you know, them kind of simple living there. But Babylon mash it up, man. More than 75 more than 75 percent of the families were relocated outside the neighborhood after their homes were demolished in the late 1960s by the city department of housing and Ur urban development so you know look at the place the downtown yeah 
to Springfield way out there. So yeah. You know what I mean? San Marco, yo, you ain't got San Marco. Listen. There have a lot of little places where we wouldn't believe it, man. The city threatened residents who refused to move by forcing them to remodel their homes and buy more property. Residents whose homes sat on 25 foot wide lots had to buy additional property to meet the new 50 foot requirement. Today, not much remains of the community. Nevertheless, its centralized location, availability of vacant property, and accessibility to the S line, Shand, and downtown give it a level of potential few inner city districts can claim. Boy, I'm old mine. I go around this, I go develop around this. I love the place. Ritz Theater and Museum. Yeah, man. I love the place, man. And then when I talk about parks and football field and, you know, Joan Sugar Hills and La Villa's here day, the Ashley and David Street were the epicenter of commercial and entertainment-oriented business for the communities. Completed in 1929, the Ritz Theater is one of a few structures still standing from what was known as the Harlem of the South. Don't I hear all these things? The Harlem of the South was the Ritz Theater. So what that mean? If it had called itself the Harlem of the South, my, 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 that means that it's now nothing to do with the Europeans, nothing to do with the Anglo, now the Saxons from Germany, nothing to do with, you know, the Maroons, now the Moors. This is about the American Indian, the people and what are now classified as African American and black people and all of these things where them the great. Yeah, I'm on the Harlem of the South. Today, this is the location of the La Villa Museum and a 400 seat theater. Well, I forgot really got you. Old, I, listen, I forgot to take a trip. I would love a trip, but not just me alone, all a delegation about 25 away. Go on a little one week tour, go tour all this location. Walk through Jacksonville, and you know, yeah, yeah, we probably don't need a one week, we need about three days. Because one week, you know, is a lot for most people who have them business, but yeah, man, for the place, beautiful, man. And look at it from the original time, 1940s. Oh, I tell you, yeah, see it there. Davis Street today, you know? Yeah, man, when you're in them town, you know, when you go in a school zone, you have to drive below 25. So you have to drive like about 15 miles per hour in a school zone. Yeah, man, you get a fat ticket when you have speed. You can't carry and conduct yourself in a criminal behavior in and around the school zone. So that I got multiply your problem. You know, structured community, and you know, if you're involved in or not, now you have to do others, you know, choose to live peaceably. Oh gosh, man, we miss them energy. We miss them energy, man. Today, the streetcar tracks and most buildings along David Street no longer exist. So, you know, they may have streetcar back in them time. But a pedestrian bridge. Pedestrian bridge was constructed over I-95 to connect the Davis Street area with the portion of the neighborhood that was severed by the expressway. You know all them local location and everything. <coughs> the St. Stephen African Methodist Epistolary. 
can never call them like a fancy Episcopal church is one of the handful of historic building that still remains on what was Sugar Hill's main commercial corridor. So Stephen's African Methodist Episcopal Church. And them off a job in the African Methodist, the African in it, you know, can be a Methodist church. Wow. Sugar's largest house were located in the vicinity of 8th Street between Davis and Jefferson Street. Today, the area is dominated by campus of Sean Jacksonville. Look at that. I mean, I tell you, that's the memories. Yeah, man. Brewster Hospital was the community's main economic driver. The former all black hospital. You hear that? The former all black hospital would grow to become Methodist Hospital and the first in the state with all private rooms and bath. Oh gosh, man. So you see them about that's the African Methodist Hospital now, and I say you see it. So them interject the African in night for mislead the people of them true greatness. The former all black, them now go say all American Indian. You know what I mean? Or all Indian. You know what I mean? Them now go say all the ab aborigines. Them I say the former all black hospital was grow to become would grow to become Methodist Hospital, because me know this hospital is huge, and the first in the state with all private rooms and bath. Over the years, this medical complex has continued to grow and is now known as Shand Jacksonville. You know, you may tell you, this place here, huge I people. Yeah, man. And I think potential is still in this location. Uh, may I may tell you the place be. It come like when they are Texas, like when we go to Houston, Texas. Because that's the next location I'm gonna our people I'm gonna see and interact with there. Yeah man, and Houston spread out kind of the same way. Yeah man, especially when you have heavy equipment, tractor trail and them big equipment there. Yeah man, Houston have some routed warehouse. Jacksonville stay the similar to but you know, the space man, that beautiful. A row of house along Jefferson Street were recently demolished. Wow. So you know they might show up something different. So the old time house, I mean, these are our people, let me know. What they might talk about living a TP. And I talk about oh, 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 oh. like man I idiot. I man walk them ground here. I am on talk with the people and boy. Yeah. I tell us that the people them have some things and come like them, they even know them are the Indian. And then even when they mingle with some of them foreign ones are from around there, them never as racist as some of them, you know, redneck ones. But them still have the racist tendency to them, most of them. But you will find some of them where just like in the ancient days, we have foreign man come amongst our people and them not necessarily are come for bring the harm. Them just most of them all are try escape for them own people because the love what them get amongst our people, them not know it amongst their own kind. And so we always are the noble people where we always have love, always willing for share and show all kindness. Yeah man. And empathy to ones and ones. So them always look can get for bring hurt and harm to it. God, I'm going to always know, say, watch ya. And them have to start the fight for we fight. But we now start the fight. Beautiful location. All them little homes are now. From them little location, yeah. Some of them houses, you know, we have between the house and it's all a driveway where you drive in and behind, behind them house, you know, you have your little you know, your little car park. 
or you like a garage. Yeah, like a shot and you just shut your door and that thing that or you have a little thing built, you know, where you just back in or you just pull in. Yeah man. Come like me always been to them location and yeah, we are look on some old settings. This are the modern type, but this are another fort is know them place in a rasta. Yeah man. Yeah, man. A lot of them things I was say, border post, but we know there's potential. Right now, you want all 20 family from Jamaica live up and go around this, and we start a community. Yeah, man. Now we start, all we do with everything, we just start from scratch. The man, we're a dentist, we just start work, find work as dentist. The man, we love the plant, plant. Yeah. And you find some empty house, buy them, fix them up. You know what I mean? But acquire them, fix them up. And you start the community and decide to live up on heal the Mosai creator. Heal the Mosai creator. <laughs> yeah, man. My brother follow the bag of religion. Bishop Henry Y. Tooks House. Wow. West 8th Street, 1011 West 8th Street. Bishop Henry. Why Tooks assigned to serve the Florida district of the AME Church and his wife Maggie built this brick two story neoclassical style house in 1939. You see it? 1939. The house is one of the few remaining large residents in the old Sugar Hill community, a neighborhood of Jacksonville's American Indian middle class during the first half of the 20th century. Yeah. There is no African-American here at the time. The ones that didn't slave, so the American Indians, them, yeah. You understand? Yeah, I remember all of the African of them, so them bring them, bring them as slaves. So them African, they couldn't come, come create all of this in a 1939 while them was in the slave, no. These are the American Indian. Yeah, the Geechee Gula people, the seminal type of people when I've not, where, where, where war with these people until you know them get conquered. Or them are for going at the swamp, them are for run left all of this. And the few where, you know, no run that's war till them get conquered and have it, you know, got through all of these things, but we still have remnant of our people right there irrespective of what the colonizers try to impose and teach. See it here? 1939, these people build this two-story neoclassical style house in Jacksonville, Florida. Sugar Hill. Interesting. <clears throat> Under Bishop Tooks administration, the college expanded with the acquisition of additional property and the construction of the library. Wow. A woman's dormitory and the J.M. Wise Stadium. Wow. The Grammaria Omega chapter of the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority founded in 1908 at Howard University in Washington, D.C. occupies the rehabilitated property and offers a tour of Jacksonville American Indian sites. So, you know, them location, yeah, Babylon know the significance of these locations, but the regular populace, not a public school, not know nothing about these kind of stories. They said the homes were built too close together, but these were ways to push us out, said former resident Olivia Foster to the Times Union. 2 4 So even up until 96, when they might interview the people and they might tell them, say, see it there? And I remember you have a location when we used to pass through and we go across the line and, you know, 
I think of the, where they call the side you now, the west side. It's close to the highway, I'm not going to remember because them places have changed up now. And I remember when my, it was a link some people around there and, you know, the place stayed one way. And by the time a few years when I, not that, you know, I kind of leave the place and not to pass through that location anymore because I tell you, I saw the place big. I remember when I go back through them location there, the whole place changed. Yeah, I just, I just, mama did have her house there with fair picnic. Her mama have about 12 or 14 children and bully for boy and, you know, bully for children and thing. And probably was just her house and a few more houses was there. But a lot of commercial building did start structure around there. So I'm quite sure them place in the exist last time. Years ago, my know mama did get ill and dead. And you don't know when the matriarch get moved, you know. The children, them are going to scatter all about the place. But yeah, man, these places are some places where historic for us as a people. But, you know, the shotgun house. Yeah, man. The shotgun house is a narrow one-story dwelling without halls. Each room is placed behind the other in a single file. The roofage is perpendicular to the street. The traditional description of why these houses are called shotgun is that if one fired a shot through the front door, the shot would pass through the lineup doors of each room and out the back door. That means uh, if you ever stand up in a year house and your neighbor have problem and you're there in front of your door you get clapped on some side street near the s line row dense rows of small shotgun houses can still be found yeah uh i wish what i told you what i look at your name now Remember when you go downtown and boy, well, I may mean, I tell you it's so it's 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 beautiful, yeah man. The memories are just something else. I, mean, I forgot hopefully we'll get for pass through them place, yeah, yeah. Emmett Reed Park was dedicated on September 28, 1969. The land was acquired for the park by a donation from EJ and Mary E. L. Ingalls. In 1941, the 12.5 acre complex, a wide range of amenities, including playscapes, tennis courts, swimming pool, and a community center housing many community service programs. The entire complex is named for Emmett Reed, a native of Jacksonville. You hear that? And the one said, Aboriginal at Jacksonville, and I want to say one of the American Indian, you know, and then I want to say a black man. So we have to do research on these people who they are. Yeah, man, we do. A native of Jacksonville and an employee of the Recreation Department of the city of Jacksonville for over 30 years. In 2002, City of Jacksonville received an Urban Park Renewal and Recovery Program grant to build the Emmett Reed Tennis Facility, the facility above, opening early 2008. Okay, so this other facility, 2008, 2009, get caught up. Yeah. One thing I love with them place, when I talk about space, park, when I think about New York and park, you'd have to go over we used to play ball on my shoulder in New York off of the expressway, but I don't remember Orchard Park was a place where you will find a lot of space. 
and then you have a next look at area where you used to play ball. And I like the I like the scene, the scenery where Wally Pa Woods and you know the manager there. Yeah, man, we have all two, three, four, five football games I play in a one area, you know what I mean? Whole heap of space, but Jacksonville full of space, man. Powerful place, man. Look for homes, brethren. Yeah? Yeah, man, look for your house, brethren. This had us one family, you know? Yeah, man. And yeah, your brother can live, or yeah, your sister can live, and then them thing I can just work out in a townhouse. Watch this. The Andrew Huff Funeral Home on David Street is one of the oldest American Indian funeral homes in Jacksonville. Look at all them. Can you imagine you own a funeral home from that time? And Babylon come and remove all of these things from you. Change it up. Yeah, man. Look at this. So the highway, I want thing, you know, so when them talk about traffic jam, especially when them come in with the Jacksonville Jaguars, you know, I go up on the road. I don't think me go watch no game, you know, I'd have get tickets. A friend of mine would have tickets because her brother had play for the Jaguars and she get tickets, you know, but that's never go. Yes, them time them are just never too interested. The 654 unit, I'm call it Blodgett Home Project, public housing complex. This is like a project. Was constructed in 1942. By the 1980s, the development had become ridden with crime. I oh, no surprise. In 1990. 394 families were relocated and the public housing complex was demolished. Today, the site is home to the 159 unit Blodgett Villa complex and a $42 million state office complex. Wow. I'm around for tear down these places. 1992 by 1980s, crime ridden by 1990. Families are for more vault. Mm. So, this is what I'm construct now. This other government facility. Hold on. I can see this again. Oh, but I really like a drive through this town here again. I come here, I tell you, memories. Memories are here. From the little simple yard here. This unique shotgun house on Louisiana Street is made of brick, constructed in 1898. My, my, my. It was one of many houses in the area that served as barracks for members of the Calvary during the Spanish American War. Wanna see this? Look at that. Interesting. I see it's a garbage pond still that that means that people still occupy light around the same way. People still occupy it. Garage and drive way around here, so man drive them Kiaga Park and I mean, I tell you that town here, one of them special towns there. Julius Gwenyard Park and Pool. Yeah, man, this is when people can go pool. The land for what is now Julius Gwenyard Park and swimming pool was acquired by Fee Simple from the Housing Authority of Jacksonville in June of 1949 the swimming pool that was constructed at the park in 1951 and originally called Blodgett Holmes Pool is one of the oldest public pools in the city of Jacksonville. Wow. 
The built out park offers a variety of activities that include basketball, baseball, and offers picnic facility and playscape for small children. The park located at the corner of West 4th Street and Jefferson Street had improvements done in 1978 and then a major improvement project in 2001. In 2006, the park was re renamed after Mr. Julius Guignard, our former city parks employee. Beautiful article by Enos Davis. I like this. I really like this, man. This is like a trot down memory lane, you know? Yeah, man. <laughs> Place them much nicer than this one. Instead of homes, them where the man them build up now. Yeah, man. Some different kind of construct people. Some real lavish homes. Come remember me. Living a property where I'm in my yard. Yeah, man, I may have a pun in my backyard where I used to come out and exercise on the deck. So, you know, we have to give thanks for life in all its variation, truly. Yeah, man, lost Jacksonville, Sugar Hill. Yeah, man, the location where I became a man. Boy, that is you. It's interesting. We do give thanks. Out there, free people. Information share. We are truly much more than what I'm going to make us out today. We are truly much more greater than we can ever even imagine. And, you know, there is so much potential for us as a people, irrespective of where, you know, Babylon are trying to impose. There is so much potential. That's we have to recognize who we are and choose for, you know, humble ourselves amongst each other. Yeah, man. We don't necessarily have to unite, but we can look and acknowledge and say, yeah, us. Yeah, man. And it's them. Right? It doesn't make sense. It'd be us against us. It have to be us against them. Yeah, cause we have been invaded, we have been colonized, we have been subject to all kinds of atrocities. However, here we are, and we are our ancestors. We are our ancestors. We truly are our ancestors. Gratitude, free people, complete gratitude. 